I want to switch gears a bit and uh, talk about a, a workflow uh, that's very useful when you have sections on a slide um, that will allow you to quickly create a map of them based on positions which are in those sections. And I'm going to start by showing you how to do this uh, using the 5x objective, which I've already zoomed way out, set to bidirectional. Um, and I'm going to do this on the 488. So I'm going to go to locate. And within locate, I'm just going to switch to the green and go to corners of the section that I want to include in my map. And then in the advanced viewer, um, I'm going to switch to this uh, module which allows me to add positions that I want to include with a certain polygon. So if I use this, as I add positions, it'll make the smallest rectangle that contains everything, the smallest circle that contains everything, or the smallest polygon that contains everything. So this is the bottom left-hand corner of the slice, which I've marked here. I'm going to now go to something that juts out a little bit on the left and add that position. You can see that this is has a blue outline on it. So if I press the button, it adds something there, and then if I go all the way to the top right of the sample and add that, now I can say done. If I go back to acquisition, um, you can see that this is the region that presumably contains the section if everything I said was true. So if we now go um, to the middle of this and go to live just to make sure that this is uh, roughly in focus. You can see it's it's very dim. There we go. That's kind of a better focal plane. Um, so this is good enough if all I want is sort of an outline of where things are. So now we're ready to go. So I'm going to go to preview and say start. And there we go. So now you can see that I know where the sections are. And as I mentioned before, even if I took this map at 5x, I can use this uh, as a way to do tiling um, or mark positions at higher resolution. So let me show you uh, a different approach to doing this that might make more sense uh, given the fact that the, the sections have this shape, which is instead of using a square to use a polygon. So I'm going to delete this and I'm also going to delete these this preview image I'm gonna go back here and I'm actually gonna to go to the 10x objective now because uh, this will this will make this uh, irregular shape more evident I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna to go to live uh, excuse me not live to locate so I'm gonna to go to the bottom left of this thing I'm going to add the position. I'm going to move to the furthest leftmost corner and add the position. I'm going to just keep doing the surroundings. Now you have to do this in order for it to work, but you'll see that I'm essentially tracing the shape of the section. And now if I go all the way down, I am all the way back where I started. So if I go back to acquisition, I say done. I go uh, to preview. Let me go to the middle of this thing. Go to live and make sure the settings are such that I can see something. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. So now if I say uh, start, I will create a preview, but in this irregular region. All right, 
right? So it's not that this, this is an amazing image, but again, we, we're just trying to find where things are. So this is another way of doing that. So once we have this preview map, we don't need this anymore. I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to switch to 20x to illustrate uh, one other way of making tiles or defining where we want tiles to be. So so let's say I want to image with this resolution, but I really just want to take a nice tile of this region. How would I do that? Well, I'm going to exit the preview and go here, where I can define um, a region to tile just by drawing whatever shape I want. So, um, excuse me, just click here. Uh, sorry, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong. I was on the wrong thing. You want to go to this one, and then you can just draw something, and that will create a tile region there. So if I go, if I double click, go to live. Make sure I'm in focus. And now I say um, start experiment. It will do a tiling here. So it's doing that there. So you can see from the map how I was able to define a region that I was interested in by just drawing a shape on the map. And this is almost done. So you can see again how you can move between objectives and different tiling modes to accomplish things with a lot of flexibility. Um, let me show you one uh, final um, option, which is you can, in this mode, also make kind of a weirdly shaped thing. So let's say you're actually just interested in the edge here. You can just click, and if you right click at the end, it'll close it. And you can just take a tile of that. So now, you'll have just that edge region. So again, incredibly flexible um, possibilities here. Um, which are really useful when you're taking uh, tiles and exploring sections. All right, there we go. And this, uh, remember that everything that you tile needs to later be stitched with through the workflow I described previously. Um, so one other thing you can do is combine everything that I've shown you so far. You could make this section. Um, you can add something here. You can add positions. And if you do that, it just does all of them in one go. And they're all different elements of a scene. And you can verify the Z of everything by clicking on Verify. Uh, just as I um, as I showed before, so you can really have a very complicated experiment where you image something irregular and tile it, something rectangular and tile it, have multiple positions, have multiple random positions, and have it all. Uh, once you verify all the Z's in one experiment, then you just say go, and it just uh, takes everything. Uh, so really, a lot of flexibility um, for doing different things uh, in the software.